Hello everybody, this is Canadian Penguin, and today I am back with a, another review, but this time it is for Payday 2's The Golden Grin DLC, and uh, what's it called, the Sokol DLC, I don't know how to say his name properly, the Russian character DLC. And honestly, I think these two DLCs are actually uh, fantastic additions to Payday, and I'm just going to put this out there right now, I would honestly recommend buying both of them at full price, I would recommend waiting for them to go on sale, because it's cheaper, obviously. But, um, picking up, pick it there, I think they're a good deal, even at full price. But yeah, so let's go over the weapons and stuff you get, first of all. So, you get two new weapons. You get the, the Valkyrie rifle, which is an AS Val in reality. And its base stats are on this side. I don't know what these two are from. I put on a build I didn't think had any weapon improving stats, but apparently it does. So yeah, here's the, uh, the base stats. As you can, you can pause and read them, whatever. And this is actually, I think I just said that, it's an AS Val in reality, which is one of my personal favorite weapons in, in reality, because I think it's just really, really quite awesome looking. And plus it has a silencer on it, which is really quite cool. So it's really good for silent killer builds, which I've been using for the for both these guns, actually, have been silent killer builds, and they are actually really, really good weapons, especially considering its, its base damage is 38 which is really easy to get up to 40, therefore breaking the 40 damage threshold and making it really good for any difficulty, really. So, for the weapon modifications you get is the prototype barrel, which pretty much just makes it smaller, which will be good for stealth, so you have a smaller smaller barrel for stealth. You get, you know, single fire, auto fire, gadgets, sights, and a solid stock, which makes it more, look more like a traditional AS Val, which is really quite cool. The one, the one complaint I do have with this weapon is its magazine size. It does have quite a decent amount of ammo, but the size of the magazine is just really, really, really small. If you're using this at full auto, as I'll show in a video clip I'll play later, you just run out of ammo all the time. It's really not that great. And keep in mind, this is part of the, the Sokol character pack. This isn't part of the Golden Grin, this is part of the new character. So yeah. Uh, personally, I really like this gun. I, I've been using it right here. This is what I have on it. I just have a uh, laser and uh, stock on it right now. But yeah, so on to the next one, which is the Cavity 9mm, which I also really like. This is the Golden Grin, um, the Golden Grin gun. And I'll, so you can see the base stats. Here are the base stats. I don't know what these are from. But yeah, base stats right here has 85 damage. Keep in mind, it doesn't have a lot of ammo. You literally have two magazines with it, and you can go through them extremely fast. But with a damage of 85, that's... It's, it's quite ridiculous. I mean, you can... It's pretty much a mini sniper rifle. And one thing I like about this gun, too, is that it's um, extremely concealable. 25 concealment, you can get it down to, like, 28 really easily. As you can see, like, with this gun, another cool thing... I don't know what gun this is in reality, but I know there is a gun like this in reality. And this gun, as you can kind of see right there, which you'll also be able to see in video footage I'll play later, is that it actually folds back, which is really cool. So whenever you pull out your gun, you like pull it out and then you flip the front end of the gun forward. It's it's really cool. And just kind of adds to the whole kind of thing of it being really concealable. So the modifications you get are just your standard barrel extensions. You get the Appalachian foregrip, which adds three concealment and negates eight concealability. I mean, I said that wrong. <laughs> it adds three concealment and negates eight stability. And as you can see, it just kind of changes the the front of the gun a little bit, making it a little bit more slim. And you get the Delabare for grip. I don't know how you're supposed to say that properly. Which adds seven con Evans <laughs> seven stability and negates two concealment. And just makes the front end look really quite cool. Actually, I like how that looks a lot. And then you get the Tooth Fairy Suppressor, which I find is kind of funny, as it's the Cavity 9mm, and it's the Golden Grin. Huh? I thought it was pretty great. And again, I love corny jokes, but the Tooth Fairy is just... It just adds a suppressor on the front of it, so if you don't want to... If you don't have any good barrel extension suppressors to put on it, you can just put that on there. And it has a bunch of different stats, I'm not going to read them all. You can pause it and look at them. And then we have our standard gadgets and our standard sights. As you can see, this is my hidden cavity, which is my stealth version of the gun, but I could easily take that off, I don't really need that. And it has 27 concealment, but I can get it to 28 concealment only by having 
one mod, two mods. I mean, the, this is a kind of hard suppressor to get, but yeah, pretty much just two mods, and you can get a 28 concealment. And then I have this is my silent killer one, which is a little bit more pimped out, but and then this one charity shot, which I already showed you. So you only get the two guns. Well, you get one gun with the Sokol character pack and another gun with the Golden Grin. Golden Grin is Cavity, which I really, really, really like. It just doesn't have a lot of ammo, but it does a lot of damage, and it's basically a mini sniper rifle. And the other one is the Valkyria rifle, which is the AS Val, and I really like this one too, because it does quite a bit of damage, but it could use a bigger magazine size as you're always reloading. I re I'd recommend putting it in single fire. You don't get any secondary weapons, sadly, but you do get some new melee weapons, so... With the Sokol character pack, you get one melee weapon, which is the hockey stick. And as you can see, super hockey overkill. I mean, it's pretty much has Russia doesn't have rights. I don't know. I mean, Russia is big for hockey, but I mean, Canada, a eh? this is probably the melee weapon I'm going to be using just because, you know, Canadian penguin hockey stick. And you also get th four new melee weapons with the golden grin. Keep in mind, the hockey stick was Sokol character pack. These four are Golden Grin. So, you get the Jackpot, which I haven't tried very many of these out yet. I haven't, I don't think I've tried any of them out yet, actually. But, yeah. So, you get the Jackpot. You get the, I don't know how to say that word properly, Cropier's Rake, maybe? I don't know. It's like one of the things I pull chips in with. Which is also kind of cool. And you get the Switchblade, which is a good uh, stealth weapon. Good melee weapon for stealth. It's a little Switchblade. Nothing says Casino more than Switchblade. And you also get the Buzzer, which I I haven't tried this one out yet, but it looks like its stats are not very good at all. But, I mean, it looks cool. And it's a pretty beefy looking taser. I mean, it has, you know, electrocutes there, there. I don't know if it actually works like that, but that's what it looks like. This is a really cool looking melee weapon. This is probably like my favorite looking melee weapon, but it doesn't seem like to be the very best in any by any means. You don't get any new grenades. You do get a mask, which is right here. The Sokol mask, which is, well, this is part of the, the Sokol character pack. This isn't part of the Golden Grin. And yeah, it's just the, his mask from the trailer. And you also get four new masks, which I haven't unlocked yet since as of doing this video, the achievements are still locked. So I have, I'm not able to show you, like, I don't know how to get them yet, because they're, they're still locked. I think Overkill accidentally released the DLC a little early, and haven't updated the site or the achievements yet. But yeah, this is the gladiator looking mask. You have the sports utility mask, which I like. I'm, I want to try and get this one. It's kind of cool. You get the king mask, which is like an Elvis mask, obviously. Which I also want to get. And you get the Wheeler Dealer Mask, which is just a kind of a funny one. I like this one. I, I don't know, I'm gonna try and get all these masks. I like all of them. I think they all look pretty cool. What's that? Oh, yeah, this is the Sokol Begins Mask, which is obviously every Payday character mask has a, uh, a Begins Mask. That's part of Sokol. So you get the two Sokol Masks, which is one you have to find with the Sokol character pack. And then these four are from the Golden Grin. Now, you get, you get for the Sokol character pack, you obviously get Sokol, which I will try and show you by putting on glasses, I guess. There we go. See, he looks pretty cool. I like his suit. It's like a gray, and then has a gray tie and a black shirt. I like his suit. I haven't really heard very many of his pager lines yet. I haven't really tried any missions in stealth with him quite yet, but I will get around to that eventually. I've heard a couple of his, and so far they sound pretty okay. He kind of sounds like he has the same voice actor as Dragon, but we'll have to wait and see a little bit. So, for the Golden Grin, as you can see, it's just contact contracts all over the place. It's a dentist. It's the last dentist heist, which is what they were kept on going on about for that. And, as you can see, the payout, as you see in the corner here, is actually really good for all levels. Like, I mean... If you're playing in, I'm level 95, I think, and if I'm getting 100% level up on very hard, that's that's pretty good. I mean, the I did the recording for this mission on very hard, just because I tried doing it on overkill, and my game was kind of lagging, and for some reason, whenever I, die, whenever I went into custody, 
or no, whenever it went down, my game would just crash. So I mean, I don't know what's happening there. But yeah, so I've only done it on this difficulty, but I mean, 100% level up on very hard is uh, well worth it, I'd say. And the job payout... This is, oh yeah, this is the maximum. These are... I forgot to show the maximums. On hard, maximum potential rewards is almost 100% level up. Now I'm level 95, so that's a lot of XP. 143% level up. 216% level up. 259% level up. And that's just absolutely ridiculous. Keep in mind that's how many bags you get. When I played this last time on very hard, I was able to get every single bag. So... Yeah, um, does it... I can't remember if it says what uh, level you have to be to buy it, though. I'm pretty sure it shows you somewhere, but I can't remember. Ugh, so stupid. But, anyways. So, it's a very good DLC. I'll come, I'll come back at the end of the video to tell you, again, what I think of it. But, yeah, it's a very fun DLC. I'm gonna roll some footage right now of just me doing the mission on loud. I haven't tried this mission on stealth yet. At least I... I kind of tried, not really, but yeah. So I'm going to play some footage and I'll come back at the end of the video and tell you if I think you should buy this DLC or not. Thirty-five seconds about until the uh, drill's done. Stay frosty. Right. The numbers for the code are seven, eight, six. It's a cloaker in there here.
I may have fallen off the roof. Yeah. Three ten. Gambling is a disease. Stop all you can, sucker. Twenty seconds. I'll lose money as well. We just need to get them to the elevator.
Okay, so welcome to the to the end of the video. Um, honestly, I think this DLC is actually very much worth the money you pay for it. The weapons are really good, like for both the Sokol and the Golden Grin. The masks look pretty cool. Well, at least for the Golden Grin, the Sokol mask. I mean, you just play as Sokol, and you know, if you leave the default mask on, you get to use his mask anyways. But uh, yeah, no, I think this is a very, very well worth it DLC, and I would highly recommend it. The map is really fun, and the character is awesome. For if, you, if you're buying the Sokol pack. Like I said before, weapons are really fun. Melee weapons are a little, eh, they're okay. I mean, the melee weapons haven't always ever been that great. The achievements at this time, I don't really know, because they haven't updated them as of recording this video. But yeah, so I just want to thank you all for watching the video. Like I said, totally recommend this DLC. I think it's totally worth the, like, I don't know, Canadian, it was like 13 bucks for me to buy both of them. And yeah, I totally, totally recommend it. And yeah, the <laughs> I keep on saying yeah, but um, the uh, what's it called? Oh, the 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 mission's really cool. Like the the drill is really unique. The vault is really really nice looking. I stepped in the vault and I'm like, oh my god, looks so cool. The dentist loot is also really cool. Uh, I, I'm, this is kind of a spoiler if you really care about it. If you don't care about it, then just keep on watching. But if you care about it, there's a spoiler coming up, so just skip a couple seconds. The dentist loot is like this really weird like. Ark of the Covenant looking thing and it has like an Illuminati triangle on it. I guess kind of cool. But yeah, so thank you all for watching the video. I will see you all in the next one. If you liked the video, make sure to leave it a like and leave a comment. I love getting comments. And subscribe for more payday content in the future. In the link below, I'll have links to where you can buy this DLC, uh, links to the mods I'm using, which is um, Poser Mod, which is part of BLT. That'll be in the link, all the Hawks have linked down there. And a link to my uh, Steam group if you feel like joining. So yeah, I will see you all in the next video.